I could not have predicted seven years ago when I started working on this that seven years from now I'd be running a watch company. It's kind of crazy. My name is Eric Mitrukovsky. I'm the founder of Pebble and the CEO. It started in 2008. I built the first prototype using an Arduino and a bunch of hacked up cell phone parts. It didn't start out as a smartwatch. It started out as a bike computer that showed text messages. I quickly realized that while bike computers are pretty cool, more people use watches. The very first version of the watch didn't actually show the time. That was a bug report that my dad filed. It should probably tell the time in addition to my text messages, and so we had to push out a firmware update. Hi, Kickstarter. My name is Eric. We took it to the crowd. We posted it on Kickstarter. Their wildest dream was to sell maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars worth of pre-orders. People who wanted to buy Pebble but were willing to wait a little while before they could get it. We ended up raising that in two hours. We had absolutely no idea this was going to happen. We hope you'll join us. Thanks. And it was so weird because we had just come from this period of trying to raise money where we got rejected, rejected, rejected. And then to move into this phase where consumers, the people who really truly matter, we're actually super excited about the product. We spent 30 days on Kickstarter. We raised $10.2 million from 69,000 people in 150 countries around the world. So it's been two years since we started shipping Pebble. And it's grown from that little Kickstarter project with 10 people in the living room of the house, you know, a couple blocks away from here, to a little bit of a bigger organization. We now have 130 people around the world. We've sold hundreds of thousands of pebbles. We're carried in tens of thousands of retail stores. What we've learned, both from our users as well as the partners that we work with, a smartwatch is not meant to replicate all of the functionality of your phone. You've got a phone, it's sitting in your pocket. It's pretty, pretty good at what it does. There's certain small interactions, there's certain notifications, there's certain alerts that are actually very well suited to be seen on the wrist. It's great for being able to surreptitiously see sports games, you know, as they're going, it's, you get a vibration when someone scores, without having to constantly get super distracted by taking out your phone. That's totally cool. This is not something that's meant to do everything in your life. It's meant to do a couple things really well. So I use it as a vibrating alarm. I wear it in the shower, it's waterproof. Pebble has a five to seven day long battery life. I use the navigation features on my watch pretty often when I'm out and about. We've gotten a lot of data from our users about what people actually love about Pebble. And you see all of these competitors coming into the market with a different angle. Google is trying to take a smartphone and kind of cram it down and put it on your wrist. Apple is saying, well, we're going to build, you know, a high fashion, super luxury smartwatch. And then Pebble, which is saying it's a watch, but it's a really useful watch. It runs apps, it lets you hack on it, it lets you customize it. But in reality, it's just a damn good watch. At the end of the day, we believe that technology is moving from you know, the mainframes to the desktops to the laptops to the smartphones onto the body. And the wrist is this immensely cool, really easily accessible space that we can get onto. We didn't start out as a wearables company, but we definitely are. To make a good product, one of the signs is to actually see people walking around using it. What I love about Pebble is that our users actually use the product every single day. Nothing to beat that.